welcome to Landrianka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. Lisa, man, you're just like, you're, you're like giving me so much great stuff here. Um, what, what are my thoughts on astral projection and visiting other dimensions and galaxies? She's, Lisa's wanted to do this for some time. She's been told to be super duper care, super duper, super duper, <laughs> super duper careful. And other entities and such can take over your body. Nobody can take over your body unless you allow it. So if, see the people go, oh no, you can get, yeah. Well, yeah, you can, you can have all that stuff happen. Because you believe it. Because you believe it. You are totally in control. Nobody can do anything against your free will. But people believe that stuff. So they actually, they're targets. It's not like they're asking for it. But they're targets. They have the belief they're, they're an open gateway. So that's why astral projection, I don't do it. I've, I have done it. I did it once. Not by choice. Um, let's just put it this way. I was someplace that I didn't recognize. I stood there and said, just, it was as real as this. And I said, if this is a dream, I'm going to go, I'm going to look at my feet and I'm going to, you know, touch the floor. You know, in dreams, you never look at your feet, right? And I thought, I'm going to look down and I looked down and sure enough, my feet were on this cobblestone street and I tapped it and went, oh my gosh, this is real. And so I'm standing there in this very strange place and I thought, okay, okay, this has to be a dream. This has to be a dream, it's just, it's just super real. So I thought if this is a dream, then I can, then I can um, change what's happening. So I said, if this is real, a certain person is going to drive up because I saw a SUV coming that was coming in. It was an area where people would like drop people off and get out. I saw a certain type of person. I imagined who was going to get out of the car. The SUV pulled up <laughs> and a Hispanic woman and her kid got out. And I was like, all right, I'm not controlling this dream which means I'm participating in something else that's happening around here. Because if it's my dream, I could have made anything happen, right? And it was, if it's that real, you're, you're in control. I was not in control of that dream. It wasn't a dream. And I realized I really was standing someplace else. And it was someplace in Europe. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever experienced. So if you've astral project, you know this. It could be a little scary. So question, I guess, for, for Lisa and anybody else's, why do you want to do that? It'd be fun or not, right? You don't know. Second of all, <clears throat> I wouldn't suggest astral projecting unless you are in such a high frequency safe place and you feel very confident that you can handle anything that you're going to be up against. What happens is you're going into the realms of where bodies, physical bodies, do not reside. What is that? The spirit world is all energy. Everything's there. When you are here in your body here, you are focused on living this life and stuff. When do we have dark energies come in? When we go to sleep. Why? Because our ego and everything is stepped aside and we are actually out of our bodies anyways. We are now into the spirit realm and that's why it shows up. So if you're in lower frequencies and those things show up, and maybe I'll just talk, I'll talk about uh, dark energies. Well, now let's, I'll talk about dark energies in the next video because that's, that's related to this, but it's, it's a whole subject in itself. So I'll mention it this in this video. So when you astral project, are you ready to, to be up against anything you're, you're, that shows up? The, the other thing too is if you're not in a high frequency, you're going to resonate into places that are not cool. And you're going to be exposed to things that are going to recognize you. So if you have any fear, you're a target. Not because you're a negative person, but if you have any fear, which is a lower frequency, you're now open to the lower frequencies, just like the bullies, Lisa. Right? Why do the bullies pick on certain people? Because they're easy targets. 
they don't pick on the big strapping guy with tattoos and, you know, brass knuckles on. They go over to the person that they know they can kick around a few times that's not going to give too much of a fight and makes them look and feel good. Because they're really super insecure. That's what bullies are the most insecure people. Right? So those negative energies out there, if you, no matter what, if you're going to astro project and you, the fact that you even said, oh, other entities can take over my soul, tells me you should not go into that space. If you believe that, if there's even a question in your mind, don't do it. Why? You've got a lot of work to do here. Isn't it better if you work on that, right? So you're already progressing amazingly. To go into those spaces that you're just not really sure of or feel secure about would expose you to the possibilities of a pretty fearful experience. So am I telling you not to do it? Absolutely not. I mean, I don't understand the purpose of it personally. I know that the Monroe Institute teaches it. So if you're really interested in astral projection, you want to do it and you feel confident, the Monroe Institute actually has some pretty extensive courses. And they control these situations so that you know what to expect, how to do it, what, how to handle things. They actually have people there that astral project and help others who are dead pass over to the other side. Would you want to you want to be up against that? Because those a lot of those souls are very disturbed. That's why they haven't gone on on their own. So that's what's in that space. I mean, once you leave this body, you are you're not dead. You're oh you're hanging out with everybody else, right? So when you pass over, you go back to your guides and uh, everybody. You are in, you know, you're in hands. You're good in hand, good hands. That you know everybody's protecting you, bringing you back. Going so okay, let's do your review. What do we need to work on? You're loved. You didn't make any mistakes, but you could have done a better job. So let's learn some stuff here. Do you need to go back? That's why we need to do it here. I don't know about you, but I'm on it, man. I'm like okay. You don't lose your personality. You're still you. In fact, that you carry that over to the other side too. Right? So so be that wonderful, beautiful person here. Astral projecting, okay, if at some point you feel that, that for whatever reason that's important, make sure that you are in the most stable, high frequency. You really feel like your life is uh, really controlled by you because that's a belief. You are always controlling it, but if you don't believe it, you aren't. And then we're going to talk about the dark entities in the next video, because that's a big one. I'm going to share some experiences I did in other videos. I'll, I'll share them again, but um, boy, I got a lot of stuff I can share with you guys. I think I'm going to share more of my really out there bizarre experiences more and more. Uh, future events I have written down right down to accurate details and stuff has happened, you have all of these abilities. You can astral project, you can do all these things. It's what are you, what's your frame of mind, what's your frequency, and that we have to work on. That's our job, that's why we came here. Let's get that in check first, all right? You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. And sign up for Landry's Inspiration if you want to participate in my monthly free webinars and all the other good stuff that's coming out. Namaste.